Okay, this is a true talent. Can Enjoy. you can you peel an apple without it falling? Come on, Sarah. Always the last part. It's just the day today. It's always the last part that's terrible and everything. Hard days, I eat around 3,000 calories. And um, easy days, two, or easy regular days, 2,600. So like today would be around 2,600 to 2,800. If I'm starving in the evening, I'm not gonna starve myself. It's just to have like a a routine of the of the nutrition. Guys aren't as strict in nutrition as the girls. That's what I have noticed. Do you think that hurts them? Uh, is, there, is there something different biologically? I think it's mostly in girls' heads. Like, okay, nutrition can help you a lot, but if you make it affect you too much, like it affects me so much. If I eat bad, then I'm like, oh, I'm so heavy today. I'm like, I, I can feel my joints are stiffer than usual, like so much in the head just because I've read so much about how bad food can affect you. While the guys are like, it. if I'm bad, I'm bad. Like they don't care. While the girls overthink everything. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish I could be like that, like not thinking too much about everything. But then you also think, like, okay, in the future, I want to think, okay, I did everything that I could to be the best that I could. Like, I did the nutrition. Instead of thinking, like, oh, I never got where I could have been because I didn't want to focus on this or this. Like, I want to be, okay, my nutrition is 100%, my sleep is 100%, my recovery is 100%, my training is 100%. Like, you have to take all of those different things and try to be the better than you are now in them at the right time. But I think also like I ate pizza for three weeks and that helps me now because I'm like, oh, I love eating healthy again and the feeling of eating healthy instead of being like, oh, I've been doing this for freaking two years. I can't do this anymore. So you gotta balance. Yeah, you gotta balance it out. And like, you just need to find the right time to balance it out. Is there a, a guy that you've noticed that's like the worst than all the others? Like in nutrition yeah. or, yeah, Fraser, he doesn't care. Thank God he has Sammy though now. Like, well, okay, Rich is also a Chick-fil-A fan number one. It was crazy. Like, they, they don't eat at all. Like during training, they train for six to seven hours or something a day. And they eat maybe one bar or something and then one day he came he brought lunch with him I was like what he's bringing lunch and it's Chick-fil-a so he eats Chick-fil-a 20 minutes later he does like a 40 minute workout like heart rate high and everything I was like I could never do a workout after eating a burger like I would be like lying on my back and like I just need Netflix and chill <laughs> but it didn't affect him at all. I mean, he's just so used to that. I think his first regionals also, he just got McDonald's or something. It's crazy. I wish I could be like, that's how I was in 2015. After, or like most evenings after training, I went to In-N-Out Burger and ate In-N-Out Burger every day. Oh, it's so good. It's my favorite. And after competing at the games, like, on Friday, I went to uh, Pyology Pizza. And then on Saturday, I went to, I think I went to In-N-Out Burger again. Like, yeah. It's the old Sarah. It's a good Sarah. That's where I trained so I could eat. And now I'm like eating so I can train good. <laughs> so that's the change of it.